All right, let's do some abs. I don't have my mic on, so it's gonna be a little echoey, but that's okay. For our abs today, we're gonna go five minutes of abs. Five minutes, which means five rounds. We're gonna go 20 seconds of what I call a V crunch. For the V crunch, we're gonna go hands down, lean back just a little bit, knees come in, extend out. In, out. 20 seconds here. Right after 20 seconds, I'm gonna go feet down, lean back, no arms on the ground this time, twist my shoulders for a Russian twist. And I'm gonna go feet on the ground for this one. You can leave the feet off, but it's a lot of hip flexor work between the two exercises. So, 20 seconds of Russian twist, and then we get a 20 second rest. All right, five rounds, five minutes of work. Here we go. Starting in 10, V crunch first, followed by Russian twist. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's work those abs, go, in and out. You're gonna feel this abs, lower abdominals, into the hip flexors, into the quads, totally normal. And you can get a little crunching action like I am too with the upper body. Five, three, two, one. Legs down, Russian twist, go. Lean back and twist. I already feel my hip flexors. Abs tight, chest up. Almost there. Come on, five, three, two, one. Rest. One down. Four to go. All right. It's going to get those lower abs into the hip flexors. Just beware. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Be crunched. Go. You don't have to move fast. Still effective, nice and controlled. Oh man, five seconds. I blame it on my big quads. Two, one, Woo. let's do some Russian twists, go. Three, 
two, one, go. Oh my goodness. Come on, last one, make it count. Two, one, all right, here we go. Rush your place, go. Pump myself up. Abside, come on. You can do it. 10 seconds, 10 seconds of your life, it's gonna burn. Three, two, one, and done. Whew, you almost feel that back there too in the back. Stabilizers. Go ahead and flip over really quick. That's five rounds done. Go ahead and curve the back the other way really quickly. Those two exercises aren't directly hitting the core because you have the hip flexors and quads on that, but they are effective, especially for those lower abdominals, lower abdominal muscles there. Let's go knee down, knee forward, push the hips forward, stretch out that hip flexor. All of this for about 20 seconds and switch sides, but I recommend holding this for like a minute on each side. Especially after all that hip flexor work. Go ahead and switch sides here. I'm just doing a brief stretch. Again, you can go back and stretch on your own. Whoa. That was a good outward workout. All right, that's it for me today. Get some stretching done on your own. Eat healthy, get sleep, hydrate, recover. I'll see you for the next workout.